48 people were injured, including 39 who are still in hospital. A gunman opened fire at two mosques in the city during Friday prayers. And the suspect's arrest was captured on video. Two other people are also in custody while police try to determine what role they may have played. The deal with Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says the suspect is a licensed gun owner who legally acquired the five guns used in the attacks. Two of them were semi-automatics, two were shotguns, one was a lever-action rifle. 28-year-old Brenton Harrison Terrett, the suspected gunman, has appeared in court, and he is currently facing a single count of first-degree murder. But the judge told him it was reasonable to assume more charges would be laid. He appeared in court, shackled, but still made a hand signal that is used by white supremacists. Now, you can see his face is blurred there, and it was blurred on order from the court. Officials say Terrett has no criminal history and was not on any terror watch list. Well, an Australian senator who sparked outrage for blaming Muslim immigration for the New Zealand mosque shootings took an aid to his head from protesters. When, uh, when people are getting attacked in their own... Uh... It was from a single protester there. Television cameras caught a 70-year-old boy breaking an egg on Fraser Anning's head at the news conference there. The two also briefly scuffled. The boy was arrested but released without charge. And he was criticized over tweets linking Muslim immigration and violence. The government and opposition party agreed to pass a censor motion against Anning over his comments when Parliament resumes in April. Australia Prime Minister says Anning should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> Dozens of people gathered in Pakistan's largest city today to protest against the mass shootings in New Zealand. Protesters chanted slogans calling for an end to terrorism and held up signs condemning the killings. Here were home, dozens of people gathered in Mississauga for a vigil honoring the victims of the attacks. People packed into the city's celebration square to pay their respects. A number of community groups were in attendance, including the Muslim Council of Peel. One of their members has spoke about the importance of standing together. We brought uh, a platform for people to gather so we can express our feelings, we can mourn, we can move forward and you know show solidarity in, in the face of hate and Islamophobia. We never want to let that kind of violence affect us and create fear. fear. So we want to sit still say, you know what, we, we don't fear this. We want to stand against and show that together we are strong. You know, we're still going to continue going to our mosque. We're still going to continue gathering. We have, you know, we, we have the support of the city and the people around us. We have the police around us. So we, we feel that support. And so that's why we are trying to get rid of that fear and that sense of fear in people.